Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Coppin State University and the Rong Fang Mitchell Court at the PEC Arena for tonight's Mid East Athletic Conference game between the South Carolina State University Bulldogs and your Coppin State University Lady Eagles. The NCAA Mid East Athletic Conference, Coppin State University, and South Carolina State University encourage and promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Profanity, racial, ethnic, or sexual comments or other intimidating actions will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal from the PEC arena. Also, consumption or possession of alcoholic beverages is strictly prohibited. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you all, please rise and join our student athletes and coaches as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here are tonight's starting lineups. First, for the visiting Lady Bulldogs of South Carolina State University. The outside hitters of 5'10 junior from Killeen, Texas, number one, Samara Fields. The middle blockers of 5'10 junior from Atlanta, Georgia, number six, Maya Rembert. The outside hitters of 5'9 junior from Spartanburg, South Carolina, number seven, Elisha Thompson. The opposite hitters of 5'10 junior from Haula, Hawaii, number 10, Sila Ivea. The middle blockers of 6'3 freshman from Vancouver, Canada, number 13, Gabrielle Panzetta. The outside hitters are six foot freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina, number 16, McKinley Roach. And Liberos, a 5'3 junior from Monk's Corner, South Carolina, number 11, Chelsea Cole. South Carolina State assistant coach is Dr. Colleen Hawkins, and the head coach of the South Carolina State University Lady Bulldogs is Dawn Barnes.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. The starting lineup for your Coppin State University, Lady Eagles. The middle blocker is a six-foot graduate student from Cleveland, Ohio. Number five, Amara Williams. The middle blocker is a 6'1 junior from Medellin, Colombia. Number six, Herodine Palacios. The out from Tyler, Texas. Number seven, Hope Castle. The setter is a 5'9 senior from Sofia, Bulgaria. Number nine, Andrea Tretanova. The outside hitter is a 5'10 graduate student from San Antonio, Texas. Number 12, Miyajivan Koma. The opposite hitter is a 6'1 graduate student from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Number 22, Yanidis Miller Green. And Libero is a 5'5 senior from Isabella, Puerto Rico. Number 15, Ashley Roma. Lady Eagles assistant coaches are Terry Virgus and Lori Ashton. The head coach of the Lady Eagles is Tim Walsh. Good evening, everybody, and welcome inside the PEC Arena for tonight's MEAC opener between the visiting South Carolina State Bulldogs and the Coppin State Eagles. I am Kyle Borg, and I will have all the play-by-play -play for you here this evening between these two MEAC opponents. It is the MEAC opener for both teams. South Carolina State comes into this on a 10-match losing streak this season, 0-10 on the year. They have not won a match since 2018, it was also coincidentally their last MEAC win. That was back in September of that year. Looking to pick up their first victory since 2018 here tonight and snap a very long losing streak. But on this season, 0 oh and 10 and 0 and 0 in the MEAC. Coppin, on the other hand, 9 and 7 on the season. Coming off a loss on Tuesday here at home at the hands of the Retrievers of UM. BC South Carolina State will be in the maroon jerseys with their libero in blue. Coppin in the white with their libero in the gold. South Carolina State will serve first. It will be number one, the junior outside hitter, Samira Fields, to serve for the Bulldogs. Just 24 aces in 10 matches for this Bulldogs team on the year. First serve is put in play at Amara Williams in the back row. They're going to set Miyaja Von Coleman immediately in the front, and SC State is going to get on the board first as that hit was right into the net from Miyaja Von Coleman. one nothing Bulldogs here to open us up in the best of five. Fields again, right at Williams. Good pass, good set. They're going to feed Palacios, who picks out the corner and ties this match up at one apiece, which will send Andreas Fatanova back to the service line. 50 aces for her on the year. She leads the NCAA in the ace category. She'll put one hard in play, a rocket of a serve. Still in, good hustle to run it down. It's just gonna get over the net and dug out by the libero Roman. They're gonna set Castle. And SC State well out of system. Another free ball going to be sent over right at Roman. Got a good pass way. She'll push it out to Coleman. And her swing is kept alive by the libero on the SC State side. Another dig from Roman. Cross-court kill from Castle. Not going to go. And SC State 2-1 lead. Roman picks up a couple of digs in that rally. And Ashley Roman... With those digs, she comes into today needing 28 more to be the Coppin State all-time leader in that. And with those two down to 26, so the count is on for Ashley Roman to be the all-time 
uh, Diggs leader here at Coppin State. Palacios gets her second kill on just her second swing, and we're tied at two. That'll send Miyajavon Coleman back to serve it away. Coleman going to drop it in at Cole. And it's set outside, and Williams was there to cover. Svetanova, back set opposite side for Castle, won't fall. Near side tip by Williams. Kept alive, and now a free ball has to be pushed over, and it's out of bounds. Panzetta couldn't quite pick out her spot, and Coppins got their first lead of the match at 3-2 to two here in the first set. Miajavon Coleman back to serve it away again. Puts it right at Cole, gets a good pass away. Finding Fields, now the back set for Panzetta won't go. Coleman all over that one in the back row. They're gonna feed Williams, she will push, and it's kept alive. Roman will have to set this one. She'll feed Castle on the far side down the line, and it's out of play. 3-3, the opening set so far. So that'll put the libero Chelsea Cole, the junior from South Carolina, back for SC State. Just one ace to the season for her from the service line. Roman Svetanova. Williams near side, no. Pushed outside, blocked at the net by Hope Castle. Copping back on top by one. Four to three here in the first set. Castle all over that try from Thompson. As Miller Green will come in for Palacios now in the front row. Ashley Roman going to jump serve one over and right down to Miller Green on the errant pass. And she's got one swing and one kill. Copping up to a two-point lead. It's their biggest of the first set, 5-3. Miller Green coming off a good week last week. She was named MEAC Defensive Player of the Week coming in to these three matches set for this week. They're going to feed Miller Green again in the middle. She beats the block and drops it right in front of the libero Cole. 6-3 the score. Two kills on two swings for Yanaris Miller Green. Roman couldn't float that one over, and the side out will go to SC State, and the Bulldogs find themselves back within two. 6-4 the score. They will make a substitution, and she will come in and be the server. It is number 10, the opposite hitter from Hawaii, Sila Avia, number 10, will be the server for the Bulldogs. She'll fire it over right at Coleman. Good pass to Svetanova. Now for Williams on the near side, and the cross-court kill for Amara Williams. 7-4 the score. Castle back to serve. Castle doesn't serve very often, and she over-served it there, long and out of play on the service error. Seven five, the score. Thompson. The junior from Spartansburg, South Carolina, will serve. And she will answer with the service error. Coffin gets the point back. Three-point lead, 8-5 the score. Coffin looking to go on a run here to separate themselves from the Bulldogs. It'll be Amara Williams back at the service line. 17 aces for her this year. Three service errors in a row, two by Coppin. And Williams' serve is long and out of play. 8-6 goes the score. Here's the serve from SC State. It's a rocket and it's down for an ace. 8-7 goes the score. As the server is Maya Rembert. And she picks up ace number five on the season, number 25 for the team here in their 11th match of the year. And that's going to go long and out of play as Castle stood there to watch it go out. 9-7, copping back on top by two. Palacios into the front row. Yanaris Miller-Green's going to serve the graduate student and transfer from Florida International.
The referee stops play to let Coleman know that the libero has to go off to a certain point. So they communicate that. Now we're back in plays. That one's off the block. Coppin will attack now. They're going to go outside. Coleman not going to drop as it's off the net and kept alive. It's got to go over. Panzetta sends a free ball to Williams in the back row. Now they're going to feed Palacios on the slide. Popped up and kept alive by SC State. And now it's going to drop. That's going to go down to four hits. And Coppin gets the point. 10-7 goes the score. Miller Green, a line drive serve over the net. Be set up in the back row for Thompson. Right at Castle. Here's Fatanova outside Coleman again. Tooled the block, but it didn't drop. Cole going to come back near side. That's going to drop for a huge kill for Fields. Who is going to play the setter position here today for SC State. And she gets the kill. 10-8 the score, and Fields will go back to serve. McCray checks in for the first time in the front row for the Bulldogs. Errant pass from Castle, so Coleman will set one up in the back for a free ball sent over by Williams, and they're going to call her for a ball handling error, and it's a one-point game, 10-9. to nine. Fields again to be the server. Launches one over the net. Pushed far outside, near side, out of play. Coleman able to tool the block. She's on the board with her first kill. Coppin back on top by two at 11-9. Miajavon Coleman coming into today. Already the Coppin State all-time leader in the kills category, but sits sixth in the MEAC. She needs 193 more to surpass first place in that category. And that's going to get out of play. And a service ace. The 51st of the season for Svetanova. Twelve nine, the score. Coppin on top by three. Another serve, almost dropped in. Tight ball to the net, and another service ace for Andrea Svetanova. Her second straight ace, and a 3-0 run for Coppin. Here's the serve. Again into the back row. That time it's kept alive. And a free ball left to be sent over on a bad set. Almost going to get down now. It will. Miscommunication from the cop in defense. Makes it 13-10. McKinley Roach, the freshman from North Carolina, will serve as we're back underway. 13-10, make it 14-10. Another service error, the third for SC State here in the set, and Coppins on top by four. Miajavon Coleman to serve for Coppin. Puts it in play. Back set for Panzetta. Not going to be a good swing as it's right into the net. Coppin on top by five, 15 to 10. Dropped in by Coleman. They're going to go outside. It'll have to be punched over, and Svetanova will cover. And now Roman's going to attack and pick out the middle. And get it to go. That'll go down as a kill for the libero. Roman's fourth kill of the day, or of the of the season, will result in a timeout, which means we will step aside and be back. It's 16 to 10. Coppin in set number one.
back underway now out of the SC State timeout, 16 to 10. Coppin on top, Miyajivan Coleman remains the server for the Eagles. She'll fire it in right at the libero. Cole gets a good pass away, set outside. Thompson, cross court, finds the line. And SC State gets the side out, 16 to 11. Chelsea Cole, the libero, will serve now for SC State. Coleman gets that pass away. They're going to go near side. Williams unloading on that one, and it'll drop for a, another kill for Amara. Her second of the set, 17-11 the score. South Carolina State has not won a set since November the 7th of 2021 at Howard where they lost 3-1. That was also the last time they lost in more than three sets. They've been swept in 13 straight matches dating back to last season, including all 10 matches here this year. As Coppin gets the point on that attack error by the Bulldogs, and it's 18-11 Coppin State and Ashley Roman the libero to serve for the Eagles. In the middle, blocked at the net, Yanaris Miller-Green. Eight-point Coppin lead. It's 19-11 now. As the two-time defending defensive player of the year puts it in play, and it's going to get touched. The line judge is going to say it was off of the ponytail. And it's going to be an ace for Roman. Says it hit the shoulder of the libero. And an ace, and here comes the challenge from SC State. So the lines judge says that it hit the shoulder of the Bulldog defender, which was number three, Kiera Rosales, as the official will come over. So the official coming over to look if it hit the Bulldog defender in the back off the serve. They look at every possible angle here. First challenge for SC State here. Okay, yeah, yeah, take it down. Yeah, yeah, no, it hits it right there. Right. Right. Kaboom, hits it right there. Got it. Touch, touch. Confirmed touch. Confirmed. It will be a confirmed touch, and it will be an ace for Ashley Roman, and Coppin will get the point. It was a good call from the lines judge down here this is of course this referees crew second match of the night they were down the street at Morgan State earlier this afternoon in a five set thriller between NC Central and Morgan State those are actually Coppin's next two opponents it'll be NC Central on Sunday and Morgan the following Friday and back to back aces for Ashley Roman and she leaves no doubt about that one as she drops it right in the middle of the floor 10-point lead, 21-11. Now Coppin starting to roll after getting off to a little bit of a slow start. Svetanova setting up Miller Green. She'll push. She won't go down this time. Bump set back row. Rosales will send it over. Roman. Svetanova. Castle opposite and kill for Hope Castle. 22-11. Three service aces on this run for Coppin State, all courtesy of Ashley Roman. 23 to 11. And a timeout by South Carolina State. We'll take the timeout with them and be back after this on the CSU Sports Network.
back out of the timeout, the second of SC State. 23-11 is the score as Coleman will come over before we restart play. Roman puts it in play. Doesn't fall, blocked at the net, Amara Williams and Yanaris Miller-Green. Another block for Coppin here in this set, and that'll be set point number one. They will have 13 of those to play with. As Roman puts it in play again. She got another diving dig that time. Williams will attack off the block, and that's the set. Good start for Coppin State, 25 to 11. The final at the end of the first set as the two teams will switch sides. We will step aside as we get the reset before the start of set number two. You're listening to Coppin State Volleyball on the CSU Sports Network. Set number two about ready to begin. Coppin State takes set number one, 25 to 11 over the visiting Bulldogs of South Carolina State. CSU Athletics thanks MedStar, the exclusive provider of physical therapy and rehab services. So set number two getting ready to begin. I believe Coppin will have the serve here in the second. As the countdown for Ashley Roman to be the CSU all-time digs leader is on. She had five in that opening frame as on the live stream here, taking a look at some of the Coppin State highlights from that first set. But she needed 28 coming in. 23 more is the countdown and the magic number for Ashley Roman. Likely going to have to happen on Sunday against NC Central for Ashley. So it will be Svetanova who picked up a pair of aces as well. She's got two of the five for Coppin here in the match to go along with ten assists. Ashley Roman has the other three, including a kill, which you don't get very often out of your libero, especially on a ball that she didn't swing at. She just put it over. And Svetanova picks up a service error. And it's one nothing, SC State. So once again, South Carolina State starts with the point to open the set and Alicia Thompson 
will be the server. She'll serve straight away from the middle and send it out of play and long. 1-1 the score. Coppin ties things up and gets the side out, and that'll send Miajavon Coleman back to the service line. Castle keeps that alive. Svetanov underneath, and uh, Williams will send the free ball over. And Fields will attack. She is blocked, and it's kept alive. And now Fields again. She will tip. Svetanova near side. Castle blocked. Did it get the line? No, it didn't. They're going to say it was out. So Coppin on top, 2-1. to one. As Coleman sends it in play. And that attack is out. Coppin on top, 3-1 now. And Ash, or still will remain Miajavon Coleman at the service line. Cole able to dig that one out. Start the attack in the middle. Svetanova's there to cover. Roman, a back set to Williams who will tip, and Fields covers that one. Joust it over and put down by Roach at the net, and it's 3-2. Coppin on top by one. And now McKinley Roach, the freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina, will go back to serve things away. Clipped off the net, and Roman was there on her knees to keep that one alive. Williams, right off the net, they're going to say it was touched. So able to tool the block was Williams. 4-2 now goes the score. Two-point advantage for Coppin as Roman now will be the server. Couldn't drop that one in for an ace as Panzetta sends it over right at Ashley Roman. Hope Castle splits the defense, beats the block, gets the kill. It is her third so far, and Coppin on top by three, five to two. Roman put that one in play again. Fields going to attack. It got touched on its way out for the kill. Five three, the score. So that will bring back in Maya Rembert to serve for the Bulldogs. Down by two here to start the second. It took Coppin a little bit in the first to separate themselves from South Carolina State, but they ended up being able to do so in large part help with the service errors. Already the fifth one for South Carolina State. So Hope Castle will go back to serve, and it's in the net. 6-4 the score. And that will send Samira Fields to the service line. Here's the attack near side. Williams unloading on that one. And another kill for her as this will bring in Gabby Toit, the backup setter, to serve for Coppin State, or just into the game for Coppin State in the back row as Amara Williams will go back to serve. In play at Rembert. Here's the set to Panzetta right at Toit. Svetanova now outside. Coleman off the hands and out of play. Big kill for her, just her second. Looking to get rolling is Miajavon. It's 8-4, doubling up. South Carolina State now are the Eagles here in the second set. Looking to take a two-set advantage at the end here. Near side fields off the hands. Roman was there, ball tight to the net. Svetanova slipped and fell down trying to get there. She's back up to her feet as the Coppin State team now going to huddle up around that spot and try and mop it up as best they can with their feet. And it's 8-5, and now Svetanova 
Still working on that spot. And we're ready to go against Chelsea Cole will serve. Williams keeps that in play. They're going to feed Miller Green. Missed the line wide, and it's 8-6. Cole, off the top of the net, Roman digs it out. Outside, Coleman unloading a rocket right down to the floor, and it's 9-6 off the right hand of Miajavon Coleman. And another big dig for Roman, her ninth. Or excuse me, her eighth, because it's 9-6. She needs 20 more. In the middle, pushed over. Miller Green, one-handed dig back to the SC State side, however. And then the cross-court kill from Fields beats Toit, who couldn't get set in time, and it's 9-7. Sila Avea to serve. Down by two. 9-7 is the score. Williams set outside Coleman again. Splitting fields, and Avia that time in the back row as she finds the line, and it's 10-7 on the side out for Coppin. Toit will come out, Castle will check back in, and Andrea Svetanova will go back to the service line for the Eagles. Dropped in for another ace for Svetanova, her third of the match, the sixth for the team, and it's an 11-7 lead for Coppin. Again at Cole, that time it was handled. Setting up and rejected at the net, Palacios and Castle for the block, and it's 12-7 and a timeout taken by South Carolina State. We will take the timeout with them and be back after this on the CSU Sports Network.
15-9 goes the score. Svetanova outside. Castle right into the net is where she hits it. And it's a quick 3-0 run for SC State. Or no, they're going to say that one going to go to the Eagles. Excuse me, that was off the block and out of play. As it dropped on the SC State side of the net. 16-9 goes the score. Almost dropped in by Coleman. Back row attack for the Bulldogs. Roman was there to cover. Svetanova outside. Here's Williams unloading. Did it get touched? It did at the net, says the down official. 17-9 as Coppin gets the point. Seventeen nine, the score. Coleman again to serve, ah, right into the outstretched hand of Amara Williams at the net. An errant serve from Coleman, and it's a seven-point lead, seventeen ten. Substitutions will be made by SC State. So back comes Rembert into the game for Thompson. She'll check into the front row, and SC State will have the serve with McKinley Roach. Coleman was there, Palacios has to cover, and the swing on the free ball by Coleman to put it over. SC State will attack in the middle, Panzetta! Gonna get a one to fall in front of Miagevon. Coleman caught a little flat-footed on that one, 17-11. This was as many as SC State scored in the first set before losing that one, 25-11. So let's see if they can't get a couple more points here. Right at Roman, directs it to Svetanova. And now off the hands is Williams and out of play, a kill for her. And it's 18 to 11 as Coppin gets the side out. Ashley Roman will go back to serve for Coppin State. In play. And the free ball sent shallow over to Ashley Roman on the cover. In the middle, Miller Green finds the line. 19 to 11. Coppin on top by eight. Dropping it in for an ace as it pinballs off a couple of Bulldogs. And another timeout by South Carolina State. 22-11 is the score. We will take the timeout with them and be back after this on the CSU Sports Network. Back underway as the ball's put in play on the serve. Long tips, Fatanova was able to cover. Castle floating one in, dropping it in. 21 to 11. Outside fields off of the hand of Fatanova. Miller Green going to redirect it and drop it in. 22 to 11. Coppin on top here in the second set, looking to take a commanding 2 0 lead here in the best of five in the MIAC opener. Fields again will attack cross court. Did she find? She did. 22 to 12. 10 point game. Rembert will go back and be the server for South Carolina State as the Bulldogs find themselves down by 10 here in the second set. Make it 11 as she serves it right into the net for another 
as Toit will come in for Castle and she will go back to serve. So the sophomore setter Gabby Toit from Columbus, Texas in the transfer out of Coastal Bend College will serve it for the first time here tonight. And she will miss the line and it's 23-13. Back down to 10. SC State has failed to reach 20 points this season in every set except for one, and that was over the weekend in the first set in ultimately what was a Presbyterian three-set sweep. Williams pushes it strong through the block, and it's a set point for Coppin. 24-13, an 11-point lead. They will have 11 set points to work with. Amara Williams will look to end the set right here as Jordan Lewis checks in for the first time here tonight into the back row. Play a little defense for the Bulldogs. Williams not going to get there for an ace. Cole, free ball sent over. Roman corrals and directs the pass in the middle. Coleman ends the set 25 13. Two sets to none for Coppin State with a chance to sweep the MEAC opener. Twenty-five, eleven, twenty-five, thirteen. After two relatively quick sets here from inside the PEC arena, we'll be back after this with more from Coppin State with the remainder of this match. After this, you're listening to Coppin State Women's Volleyball on the CSU Sports Network. We love our new apartment. Great kitchen, open floor plan. But there's not much privacy. <laughs> what happened to your wall? At least Geico makes bundling our renters and car insurance easy. Does save us a ton. Hmm. What's on this chicken? Paprika. <laughs> Paprika! <laughs> I made it at home. It's my catchphrase. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Welcome back inside the PEC Arena for the third and possible final set as Kennedy Beatty is going to check in and be the libero here in this third set. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Ashley Roman's day is going to be done. She needed 28 digs to become the all-time leader for Coppin State in that category. She currently sits second all-time. 
She had 11 here tonight. So 17 more on Sunday will put her in that category for her career. She now has 1,652 career digs. Back underway as SC State puts it in as Beatty directs it. The new setter is in as well as Aji Coleman. Lots of subs to sort out here for Coppin here in the set. So as Aji Coleman gets the kill, 1-0 Coppin. So it is the new setter, number four, Ayana Farrow. Castle's in, Aji Coleman is in, Genesis Hernandez is in, Zoe Chin is in as well, and Kennedy Beatty is the libero right now as it will also be another substitution as Hernandez will get ready to check out and Layla Ibrahim will get ready to check in to this set as the bench will now get to get things rolling here in the third. As uh, head coach Don Barnes has a question, she sends her captain over. Doesn't look like she wants to challenge the point. And now the substitution will be made. So it's 1-0 Coppin. And Farrow will go back to serve here in the third. Two sets to none lead for Coppin. Looking to bounce back from their loss on Tuesday and take a take the first MIAC game of the season. And they're going to set Ibrahim, and her swing is directly into the bottom of the net to tie this up at one apiece. South Carolina State looking to, for their first win since 2018, September 28th to be exact. It was their last win. It was also their last conference win. They were 0-24 last year, 0-8 the spring before. Hope Castle's kill that time on a big swing. 0-10 here this season. So an extremely long losing streak for the Bulldogs of South Carolina State and their second year head coach, Don, Don Barnes, who is 0-34 on her career. Castle serves it into the net. We are tied at two. Roach will go back to serve for the Bulldogs now. Coach Walsh, of course, in his sixth season at the helm of the Coppin State Lady Eagles program. Coppin gets the side out on the error there, 3-2. He's 65 and 88 all time here at Coppin, but has a 36 and 25 conference record in the turnaround for this Coppin State program since he was hired in six years ago has been astounding. Uh, what a 180 turnaround it has been for this CSU program. Championship appearance in the spring of 21. Ultimately, they lost in that one after an 11 and five year in a nine and one conference play. Last year, 16 and 12, nine and five in the MEAC and a semifinal exit at the hands of the Hornets of Delaware State in four sets. Another service error, Coppin back on top by one, four to three. All time for the Eagles against this South Carolina State program as they look for their fifth straight win in the series. They are 5-18 all time, 3-2 at home. Tim Walsh, a perfect 4-0 against the Bulldogs in his tenure as the head coach here at Coppin State. Panzetta's cross-court try is out of play. Coppin also swept last season's series. Three sets to none in both matchups. 5-3 now the score, a two-point Coppin lead here in the third. Hernandez's serve won't drop. Back set for Fields, attacking error into the net. Coppin point, 6-3 goes the score. Hernandez again to serve. Genesis floats it over, and Cole gets the dig. Panzetta again right at Beatty. Farrow going to set up Chin on the swing. They're going to say it got touched, and it's out of play anyway on the errant pass. 6-4 the score. Fields again to serve for South Carolina State, who will play Morgan State on Sunday in their next matchup. That one's out of play. Eagles get the point on the errant serve. 
7-4 is the score. NC Central picked up that five set win earlier today against Morgan State in Baltimore. The other matches today, Eastern Shore at Norfolk State and Dell State at Howard. And as it pinballs around, Coppin couldn't keep it up. Point SC State, 7-5. So let's go ahead and check around the conference. It is a two sets to none lead for Maryland Eastern Shore on the road at Norfolk State. But Norfolk State currently in the third set, up 22 to 13. And down in D.C., to top two predicted finishers in the conference as Castle picks out the back corner. 8-5 the score, Coppin on top. The top two finishers picked to in the preseason. Howard to finish first, Dell State to finish right behind them. Of course, Coppin was picked to finish third. Dell State holds a 2-0 lead in the third set right now, but the Bison are on top of the Hornets, 11-5 in the third from Burr Gymnasium in D.C. Three-point lead for Coppin here in the third. Chin gets the dig. Castle will attack. She is blocked. Toit is there. Farrow, again, going to set up Castle. Couldn't quite adjust on that. And it's 8-6. Two-point Coppin lead. So as it stands right now through one match today, NC Central is on top of the MEAC at 1-0. Everybody else still awaiting finishes. As another serve for the Bulldogs is put in play, and it's an ace for Sila Avia. 8-7, Beatty couldn't corral it. And here in this third set with the backups in the match, it's going to be a little bit tighter, you would think, at least for the moment. Farrow couldn't keep it alive. And we're tied at 8 So back-to-back -back service aces for SC State. Farrow outside, Castle attacking and tooling the block. A kill for Castle, her ninth, and it's 9-8. Back into the game is Ibrahim, number 19, the freshman out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And back to serve is Ayana Farrow. Farrow, the freshman setter, gets an ace. And it's a two-point Coppin lead, a rocket of a serve off the right hand of Ayana Farrow. Just her third on the season. And the eighth here for Coppin in the match. Oh, just missed the back line that time. Couldn't quite pick out her spot, and it's 10-9. Farrow, one-handed set to Castle. She will push to the corner, and it's kept alive by the Bulldogs. Tight ball to the net, however, will drop for a Coppin point, 11-9. Kiero Rosales will check back in, the sophomore from Phoenix, Arizona. As Hope Castle for Coppin State will go back to serve it away. She has three errors here today on all of her three serves. That time, she puts it in play right at Cole. Set outside, Fields blocked at the net. Ibrahim and Coleman combining for that. And it's a three-point Coppin lead now, starting to get on a little bit of a roll, and it's 12-9. Castle right in play again on the easy serve. Long out of play, four-point Coppin lead, 13-9. Attacking error by Fields that time. Be her a little 12th error attacking on the day. The team for SC State hitting minus .018. Fields attacking, missed the line again, no touch. 14-9. And a timeout taken by Coach Barnes and the Bulldogs. We too will take a timeout and be back after this on the CSU Sports Network.
back inside the PEC arena. 14-9 out of the SC State timeout. Castle putting it in play. Couldn't quite drop it for an ace. And now she'll get a nice pass away to Farrow in the middle. Coleman swinging. A little bit of an errant set from the freshman to the sophomore. And it's a four-point game, 14-10 to 10 now. As Coleman hit that one right into the net. Didn't really have a choice when she went up to swing. The ball was not put up just high enough for her. Out of bounds, service error, 15-10. Tenth service error for SC State. Coppin does have nine of their own, but they are winning as here comes Geraldine Palacios in for Gabby Toit in the front row. In the middle off the net, and Beatty bumps that back for Polk. As Kiana Polk picks up a kill. The freshman from Georgia gets on the board and it's 16 to 10. Beatty, line drive over the net. Back set near side off the hands trying to get there is Beatty but couldn't run it down. 16-11 goes the score. Jordan Lewis back into the game. The freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina for SC State will go back to serve it away for the Bulldogs. Line drive at Castle. Coach Walsh called it, trying to make it go out, but ultimately playing it was Coppin. And then a stuff by Ibrahim at the net. And here comes Genesis Hernandez. 17-11 the score. Ibrahim checks out. Ibrahim picks up a kill. Or excuse me, Kiana Polk picked up the kill, not, uh, not Layla. They're going to credit it to Ibrahim, or to Polk. And now they're going to set Polk again. She'll swing cross court. Won't go down. Dug out by the libero Cole. And then there's a kill for Fields. She leads the team with four now, 17-12. Castle leads the match with ten. Here's the serve, Beatty to Farrow. Polk is blocked, Beatty sets it up, Farrow again. Bump setting Polk, didn't get a lot of it. 17-13 the score. Fields is the server for South Carolina State, down 17-13. Oh, off the top of the tape, Beatty digs it out in the middle for Palacios. Ending the SC State run, 18-13 the score. Palacios, another kill for her. She's got five. As Polk will check out and Zoe Chin will check back in. And she will come in and do the serving. The freshman from Tampa, Florida. Back over to the Coppin side on an errant pass. Farrow bump setting Castle near side. Not gonna fall, took an easy swing at that one. Beatty directs it to Farrow. Back outside Castle, has to get set. Chin one-handed to keep it alive. Caught a little flat-footed in the errant. Pass attempt is out of play. 18-14 as SC State gets the side out. Chelsea Cole will serve. Bulldogs down four. This is the most points they've scored here in a set tonight, 14. Redirected by Farrow over, got tipped at the net and redirected. Chin was there to get the pass away on the cover for Coppin. Attack Palacios, straight to the floor, 19, 14. 
Eagles on top. Here comes Aji Coleman back in along with Gabby Toit into the back row. And to do the serving is the second setter, Gabby Toit, for Coppin. Aji Coleman checked in for Palacios. And Toit off the top of the tape, rolls it over. And how about a service ace for the sophomore? Six point lead, 20 to 14 for Coppin. Their ninth ace of the night. As they look to close out the Bulldogs here. Ball back over to the Coppin side on the errant return. Aji Coleman unloading in the middle. 21-14, Coppin up a touchdown. Toit picking on the freshman Lewis in the back corner. Attacking error for SC State, another one for them. 22-14, Coppin on top looking to close it out. Bounce back from their loss, open Miak play with a win before getting back underway in this four game homestand, but a timeout taken by Don Barnes and SC State. We'll take the timeout with them and be back after this on the CSU Sports Network. Back underway off the serve from Toit. 22-14 the score. They're going to set Castle outside. Clip the antenna on the way through. And it'll go to SC State on the side out. 22-15. They are out of timeouts here. Coach Walsh yet to call a timeout here today. He looks to improve to a perfect 5-0 against South Carolina State and get his team off to a 1-0 start in conference play with a win here tonight. They would also bounce back from their loss and get back in the win column. Zoe Chin from the back row. Tools the block. Here comes Ibrahim back into the game. Farrow will look to close it out from the service line. 23-15 the score for Coppin. Long serve and an ace for Ayana Farrow. Her third on the year, the tenth for the Eagles, and it's match point 24-15. Uh, They're up nine, and they have nine match points to play with. Won't end it there. Free ball sent over. Castle to Farrow. Back set for Ibrahim. And it's still alive as the team began to celebrate, thinking it was going to go down. They're going to set Lila again. And that time it doesn't get over the net. 24-16. The bench was halfway on the floor and the team was huddled in the middle thinking that first try was going down from Lila Ibrahim, the freshman. 24-16, Thompson to serve. It's in play at Chin. Beatty going to set up Hope Castle who will roll one over. And SC State keeps it alive. Fields attacks, picks on Beatty who couldn't quite get out there and it's 24-17. Match point number three coming up, copping up seven. Farrow outside Castle, Aaron set. She's gotta go off speed and cross court, gets it over. Thompson puts it in play. In the middle, Coleman to end it, yes! Aji Coleman finally ends it on the third match. Point 25, 17, Coppin sweeps. 25-11, 25-13, 25-14.
25-17. They do not allow SC State to get more than 20 points here tonight. SC State remains winless on the year. They will go to 0-11 and 0-1 in conference play. Coppin, on the other hand, up to 10-7 now with the win. 1-0 in conference play. We'll step aside so we can get the playing of the alma mater after the first home win of the year. Take on North Carolina Central and more. Mid we will be joined Central by the head coach, here. Tim Walsh, well, and I believe that, our player of the game as well Facebook after the victory awesome. for the Eagles as Coach Walsh makes his way over to the table to take the headset. Up on Sunday, September 25th, Eagles and North Carolina Central. We hope to see you here. Until then, drive, ride, or walk safely. We'll see you soon. Coach, Sunday. thank you for your time. As always, you get your first home win of the year. You pick up a win in the first conference play of the year. What did you like out of your team on the floor tonight? Um, I just thought we had fun tonight, and, um, you know, we executed when we needed to execute. Um, I think communication was um, a big part of it. So, you know, you don't know what's going to happen on the other side, unexpected balls and things like that. So we just had to be ready and focused to play and go in and, play our type of game instead of um, you know playing their type of game. And how do you keep your team focused knowing that this was the first conference match and SC State winless on the year but you never know what a team's going to give you when you get to conference play so how did you keep your team focused this week? Yeah we did everything the same so we had our same routine we um, watched our film we scouted as a team um, you know we mocked and imitated things and practice that we would see um, today in the match so um, it worked out on our benefit. And you'll be back at home for the third game of this five-game homestand on Sunday afternoon. You get the Eagles of North Carolina Central, who picked up a five-set victory at Morgan State earlier today. What are you looking for from your team on Sunday? Yeah, I'm excited um, for that match. I, um, you know, we we have to serve and we have to pass, um, but we have to be, have a presence at the net for sure. So blocking is going to be a big part of it, um, and we just need to be in position uh, defensively to make some good touches and transition. Um, you know, just the, the normal stuff. But I'm excited. They're, they have some um, solid players, so it'll be a good match. Right, Coach, last question. I'm sure I'll ask you this again on Sunday, but Ashley Roman now 17 digs away from becoming the all-time leader for Coppin State in that category. What do you have to say about her? Yeah, she's been um, a huge asset to this program, and so, um, you know, we're excited. And she's going to take her fifth year with us, so she'll be back again, <laughs> um, which, you know, is amazing. And so... We're just looking forward to her continuing to just grow and get better and, and push these girls and her teammates to um, a higher level and get that championship. Absolutely, Coach. Thank you for your time. We'll see you on Sunday. Thanks. The head coach, Tim Walsh, after his team gets the sweep, and it will be Amara Williams' turn on the headset. Now we will get to talk 
to her for the first time here on the CSU Sports Network. Amara, thanks for joining us. You had uh, eight kills on 12 total attacks here tonight to go along with a couple of digs and a couple of blocks. How did you guys get the sweep here today? Um, just by staying disciplined. Um, we know, like, coming into the game, like each and every game, that we just got to play our game, continue to stay disciplined, and then it's the beginning of conference play. So we just going after all of it. And you get a tough NC Central team here, your former program. You'll get to face them for the first time. How are your feelings going into Sunday? Um, it's a little personal, but honestly, it's the same as it, any other game. Like, they're just another team. Um, yes, it's my former team, and it'd be good to see, like, um, some of my old teammates. But at the end of the day, I think we're still going to get the dub, and we're coming for everybody. Absolutely. Amara, last question. You guys played an all-around good team game today. Another 12 blocks for the team here tonight. What's the difference for you guys at the net this season? I think this season is honestly just being disciplined at the net. Like, we practice it all day in practice, just constantly being up at any time. We had take a net call, you know, if given because we actually that thirsty for the ball. So we just make sure that we get there and then we try to put the best block up because we want our defenders to be able to defend the ball after us. Absolutely. Amara, thank you for your time. We'll see you on Sunday. Okay, see ya. Amara Williams joining us on the mics, our CSU player of the game here tonight. That'll do it for us. A three-set sweep, 25-11. 25-13, 25-17, South Carolina State will go to Morgan State on Sunday afternoon to play the match there in their second game, looking to pick up a win. Coppin will host the Eagles of NC Central, who won their match earlier, so it will be a battle of undefeated conference foes. Both teams picking up a win here tonight in the first round of conference action for this season. Well, for everybody here at the CSU Sports Network, I am Kyle Borg saying have a great rest of your night, and we will talk to you on Sunday afternoon.